there, I'm Gabby and I'm a wet on wet oil painter. And today I wanna to talk about a little problem that um, tends to happen. A lot of times when you buy canvas that has been, um, you know, comes pre-stretched, what happens is they will prime the canvas first and then they stretch it. And um, I've noticed this, especially when I buy black canvases and I'm pretty cheap, so I don't buy like super expensive canvases, but I've noticed this with cheap and expensive canvas, just keep this in mind. And it's really loose. Um, and as you saw, I had painted a picture on the front of this already. I've heard a few different ways of fixing this. I've tried a few different ways of fixing this, and I found one way that really works better than anything, especially if you've already painted a picture, but even if you haven't painted on the front of it. Um, as you can see, I turned it around backward. Um, again, whether you've painted on it or not, this works really well because the raw canvas is still exposed on this side. Um, one of the best ways to tell too, if it's loose, you can see it'll be kind of wavy, it'll look loose, but that should sound like it's really taut when you do that and it's not. Now what I've heard is people say, what I've heard people say is that you can spray this with like water and it'll tighten it up. And that's true, it will. However, as it dries, it will then loosen up again. And the reason it does that is because that's the nature of canvas. Um, I'm a historical reenactor, so I've spent my life in canvas tents. And one thing that we all know is that when it rains, our canvas tightens up, but then as it dries, it loosens. Same thing will happen if you put water on here. That's not a long-term solution. What is a long-term solution is to take this canvas, if I can find a good brush here, you take this canvas, you turn it around so you can see the back side, and then you prime it because again, this is the raw side. So the moisture in the acrylic paint is going to tighten it up, but then the acrylic paint itself is going to bind that tightening and it's going to stay tight. So you could, you know, do this with a little bit of water to dampen it down, thin out the paint. You don't have to do it thick. But I just grab, you know, some cheap acrylic paint. And I coat the back of it. So I'm going to time lapse through this. And then when I'm done, uh, we will kind of get back to what the results are. So I'm almost finished guys. Um, what I wanted to show you, and this is gonna be hard to see, but hopefully you can sort of see my finger. Everything up here is tight except this last bottom corner. And that's because it's all pulling tight. Now, as soon as I do this last corner, even this piece will tighten up. And if you ever do this, just it's just really fun to watch this happen um, because it it's fun to watch it tighten up. And then um, make sure if you're, you know, planning on keeping this as a uh, canvas that's stretched. I cut mine mostly off of my stretchers now, long story. But if you're gonna do that, make sure that you tuck your brush up in the sides and get as far into the edges as you can because you want it to be tight everywhere. And then um, if you want it to dry faster, I always go back over it a couple times and I just get rid of sort of the bigger glops of paint because that happens, especially with acrylic, um, and just kind of blend them in. Now I did this to another canvas earlier today and then this is what made me think about doing a video because I was like, gosh, I should have done a video. So I went back and I, I found another canvas to do, but this is the one I did earlier. Sounds like a drum, right? And that's what it should sound like. It should sound good and tight. It's not 100% dry, that one. But, and this one isn't either, so I'm gonna end up getting paint on my fingers, but I wanted to show you guys what this one sounds like. Like a drum. Okay, so that is what acrylic can do. And once this dries completely, it's going to continue to stay that way. And that is something water will not do. No matter what anybody says, the water will work until it dries. And then it's going to get loose again. There's one thing actually I wanted to show you guys really quick before we finish up, um, now that I think of it. When I turn this over and I look at this, it doesn't look like I had any black come through which is important. Um, and I'm looking at the corners here and I'm seeing that it still looks a little bit sort of wrinkled. Um, and so when you do this, if you do hit the corners first and then work your way to the middle, it will help it t tighten up a little bit even more evenly. Um, if you were to do this though, and some of the paint comes through because there's like a micro pinhole on the canvas, um, you know, come over and just really gently wipe it off with a little bit of water, let it dry. And then um, if you have to do a tiny bit of oil paint over the top to fix it, you can do that too. Anyway, so um, yeah, just 
try to start when you're doing it, start with the corners and then work your way towards the middle. I should have done that, I forgot about that. And then, like I said, you can always clean it up if you get a spot that comes through, if it's a picture that you've already painted. Um, anyways, guys, that's it for our little episode today. If you guys have any questions or comments, put them in the comment section of the video. If you guys could like, share, and subscribe, that would be super, super helpful. So until next time, I really do hope you guys fall in love with oil painting just as much as I have. Bye.